Hey guys, what's up? Last time we made a video talking about camera shyness where we give you tips on how to combat it. Now let's talk about how to be more charismatic in front of the camera. But before we do, like, subscribe, and gong that bell. So you want to be more charismatic in front of your videos, that's okay. To tell you honestly, I still have a lot of work to do to be really charismatic in front of the camera. It's kind of a dream for me. But today, we will give you a few tips and guides you can use to set your path into becoming a more charismatic person in front of the camera. So without further ado guys, freedom, quick tips. Number one is keep a respected posture. So what's the proper posture to stand in front of the camera? Well, you might know now, you just need to stand straight, shoulders up, chest out, and stomach in. Having good posture is a sign of a person who commands respect. Having good posture gives out signals to people that you know what you are doing, you know what you are saying, and the things you will be saying is nothing less but the truth. Number two is, it's okay to have a script, but avoid sounding so scripted. I'm still guilty about this, but I try my best to not stick too much to the script. What I do is, I read my own script and I try to change it by saying the main idea and just continue on if I have any additional ideas or anything I want to say that will add to the topic. Another thing you can do is just to use bullet points and just focus on the topic at hand. Number three is, stay relaxed and loosen up. Loosey goosey. Okay, so you guys have your own thing. You have ways to make yourselves comfortable whether it be singing, dancing, or just goofing around. I do all of those things. <laughs> all of those activities make me feel good about myself. If that doesn't go for you, you can do some of these things. Number one, watch a funny video before shooting. Number two, watch an inspirational video. Number three, rehearse. Number four, think of a good memory and let it fill you up. Number five, think of your crush or your loved one. Okay, so moving up on the ladder is number four, smile. Show me that smile, Freedom Family. Smiling is really important. You want to know why? It's because you warm up to people better if you smile. Also, smiling gives you a more positive feel about yourself. Try smiling once in a while. You'll see it as a good trait to have, especially in front of a camera. Number five is take it slow and be concise. Okay, I'm totally guilty about this again. I know for a fact that sometimes I talk way too fast, making me eat my words. I know it's not appealing and I'm trying my best to correct this mistake. Talking in a slower pace can let you think of the next sentence you will be saying and you can pronounce your words more clearly. Remember, it's not a race. Number six is keep hydrated. Always keep hydrated. You will be speaking too much in front of the camera, causing you to feel more parched and your throat begins to sore. That's because you need water. The more that you speak, the more saliva you produce and the more you produce that, the more the body needs more water to regulate the liquids that keeps your mouth and throat from drying up. Number seven is practice. Okay, all of this will not be possible if you do not practice. You want to know how to practice? Talk in front of a mirror. I do this all the time. Sometimes I monologue by myself because it helps me practice my speaking. If you are hardcore, you can join groups that do slum poetry or public speaking groups that will help you out with your speaking or with your speech. And that's the episode guys. What was the most helpful tip for you? Let us know down below. Share this to a friend who wants to be more confident in front of the camera and become a generally charismatic person. This will really help them out. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold Guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.